Good morning, afternoon, everybody. How are you? How's everybody doing today? So today we were gonna work on Ron's rig over there because his motor for the up and down jacks isn't working. But unfortunately, he didn't get what he thought he was gonna have today uh, of regular standard jacks to hold it up in case there was an issue. So we're not gonna work on that today, but what we are gonna do is cook a nice steak dinner. I haven't had a good steak in quite a while. Ron's got a Traeger grill on the back of his big rig. I'm not the biggest fan of the Traegers as you, as you may have known and if you watch some old videos of mine. I bought a Mac Daddy Traeger and it was good for smoking, but steaks were good, but not the normal. You know, like you normally do them over charcoal or wood, whatnot. But we're going to do some steaks on the Traeger tonight and have a nice evening. And one thing about Quartzite is you meet people and you help each other out. So I have a maintenance background. I was going to help him out with his uh, fifth wheel, but we want to make sure we're safe. So make sure it's lifted up, jacked up, in case if we start working on that motor, that it doesn't fall. So we're going to do that a different day. But Ron just ran to the uh, store, grabbed some butter. I grabbed sour cream. The steaks I have some country crock but that's not butter you gotta have butter for baked potatoes come on guys bread baked potatoes you gotta have butter real butter so all right we're gonna hang out and in a little while Ron's gonna get back and we're gonna cook steak dinners on his trailer grill all right guys Sitting here with Ron. Ron, say hi. Hi. He's my uh, camp buddy, per se. And tonight we're doing steaks on his Traeger grill. One of his pups here, Romeo, sitting on my lap, hanging out. We're just waiting for the steaks to be done. Potatoes are done. We're having a nice steak dinner. But this is what Quartzite's about. You meet people. You help each other out. Maybe you cook dinner together. That's what it's about. So you have the other pups over there. That's the Tiva. And we're just waiting for the steaks to get done. Unfortunately, Ron likes his steak ruined. He likes it <laughs> ruined. So, just waiting for his steak to be done. Mine's just about done. And the pups are just hanging out. And we're just hanging out here in Quartzite. So, again, you know, we didn't uh, work on... Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Duty. We didn't work on Ron's rig today because we're wait waiting for some stabilizers to hold the rig up. But, quartzite, hanging out, getting ready to have dinner. So, all right, guys, talk to you later. All right, so Ron cooked the steaks. Mine is perfectly done. Nice, medium rare. Unfortunately, Ron likes his meat like jerky. But, hey, each to his own. But I tell you what, my steak is wonderful. Baked potato, sour cream, and the puppies are looking at us. Of course they are. They want to bite. So. All right, we're going to eat our steaks. But Quartzite, Arizona, steaks on a Sunday. 
All right, guys. So that was a really nice steak dinner. And to tell you about what quartzite is, is no matter what kind of rig you have, everybody's really friendly. It doesn't matter if you have a big class A and, you know, $500,000 worth of stuff or you're in a Sorrento or something. People are friendly. So, you know, me and my friend Ron, you know, we did steak dinner night. It was very good. Steak, potatoes, great dinner. So, I'm going to go ahead and do a fire again tonight because the wind has died down. And I feel pregnant because I ate way more than I normally can. But I'm going to relax, watch the fire, and we'll see what happens. All right, Joe Bean's getting ready to start a fire. All right, guys, as I said, this is quartzite. You know, you meet a lot of people, and everybody helps one another out. You know, Ron invited me to stay in his area the day I met him. And he's got a grill. So if I buy steaks, he cooks them. It's a win-win, right? And again, helping him fix his motor on his lift when we get the uh, jack stands is just help people out in quartzite. That's what happens here. So I'm going to enjoy this fire for a little while and I know what we're going to do tomorrow. Maybe we're going to walk the washes and look for some gold. I don't know, but right now what we're going to do because I feel pregnant literally I I can't do a cheeseburger happy meal. I ate a lot. It was very good. So we're gonna watch this fire. We'll relax and maybe we'll see uh, some meteoroids because tonight is the Northern Leonoid Shower Peak, I think. So, all right, guys. Right now, gonna hang out by the fire. Hey, guys. So today I really didn't do anything. I worked on the computer, did some business, things like that. But this is one of the most beautiful sunsets I've seen here in Arizona. I mean, there's always beautiful sunsets. Don't get wrong, me wrong here, but this one, the camera's not doing it justice. Like right there, you see all that really bright white light. Here, it doesn't look like that. It's so much prettier. Yeah, that does not look like that. So, I don't know, maybe we'll try to switch this around and see if it... There you go. Look at that. How beautiful is that? Quartzite, Arizona. Not a bad place to be right now. Starting to fill up more. More people are showing up. So, yeah. All right, guys. We're not going to do much tonight. We're just hanging out, relaxing. Like I said, I did a bunch of uh, computer work today, things I had to get done business wise. But, excuse me. It's still a beautiful day. Almost every day here is beautiful. It's it's very windy. Uh, normally dies down about this time at night. You know, right about sunset. Sometimes it goes a little longer, but not bad. It's cool, calm. Last night was a great fire after that big steak dinner, and I ate the rest of it this morning. Well, lunchish, but uh, yeah. I have some more computer work to do tomorrow, but I want to get out and do something. I'm getting a little bored. 
So maybe we'll walk the washes tomorrow. Sorry guys. For right now, this is the end of Jelly Bean Outdoors because I'm just gonna relax and hang out. So we'll see you in a few. Hey guys, one thing I forgot. These little renews it air fresheners, do not bring them to Quartzsite, Arizona. <clears throat> I had this one, you know, opened, yeah, quarter inch, whatever. I just keep, you know, make the place smell a little better. I'm sitting here and all these mini flies are driving me nuts. I look up, this is on my water cabinet up there, it was. Not anymore. The entire white lid looked black with baby flies all over it. So I'm guessing because of the moisture inside there, whatever the goop is, that a fly must have gone in there and laid eggs. But they were everywhere. I mean, they were just, they just were driving me nuts. I look up and I see that on my water cabinet. And literally, like I said, the white cap was black with flies. So I took it out and, you know, thrown it over there. We're going to leave it outside until I go to the garbage dump tomorrow. But yeah, do not use things like that. Um, it must be the moisture that just the flies are attracted to. Because there's, you know, no moisture right here. It's been 16% humidity the entire time I've been here. And, you know, there's no rain in the forecast, and we're in the desert. But yeah, keep those things out of your house. Anything like that, I would guess. Um, I want another air freshener, just, you know, because. Obviously, you don't want the place to, you know, smell. But... I gotta find one that's much better. I know there are the ones with the little balls in them. So I'm thinking maybe if I get one of those and I'll buy a little piece of screen or something and put it right over the top. But, alright guys, quartzite tip for you. Do not use things with moisture that you're not paying attention to. All right, guys, for dinner tonight, we're going to have a uh, little mountain house meal. Fettuccine, fettuccine <clears throat> Alfredo with chicken. So it says you need 325 milliliters of water. I've got just above that, a little extra just to throw in. So we can get our camp stove going. Wow, that thing's green. I'm going to turn down just a little bit. I don't need a fire like that. My Optimus stove that I use hiking so much better. I should have used that. I think this is a uh, cheap little Chinese one. Like 12 bucks on Amazon. Sit here and let that cook for the water boil. Normally it takes about a minute or so. But it's a beautiful night. Temperature's starting to cool down. Inside the van still pretty warm. But uh yeah, this shouldn't shouldn't take very long at all. I see the boil bubbles starting to boil, so. Right. Backpacking stove, Optimus, got a much bigger heating surface. It doesn't, you know, right on the bottom. This little thing's about a third of the size. But. Pull it out first. 
been able to find my little titanium foot part, which is in there as well, which had my little stove. But I already pulled out my little gas canister, excuse me, and that stove. So. This is gourmet cooking at its best, guys. Now these things aren't cheap. These are like 12 bucks a meal. Hiking, this is gourmet. You'll find a little packet in there somewhere, a little bit. You definitely don't want anything. A garbage dealer. Yeah. It went pretty well. I'm not really hungry right now, but any of you guys know me. Um, all my hiking partners know that I only eat, I hate it, but I eat at night. I wake up every 30 minutes and eat something. Alright, the water's boiling. Yep, we're done. That's all it took, guys. Normally I would have my uh, little do rag, but didn't grab it. Yeah, I think I had about 400 milliliters in here, so I gotta end a little early. Try to get a little light in the cup so I can see the uh, size or the waist. All right, that should be good. So now we'll just close this up. You normally want to let it sit, I think it says like 10 minutes or something like that. I ripped the top off. I never pay attention to directions really, but Ouch. things getting hot. So it's 820 calories. Uh, less than initial four minutes, it says. I let it go like 15, 20, and I'm not even going to eat it now. I'm going to eat it later on. But, yeah, just another way to cook it. Cook in your car. Like I said, I had to get rid of the Ozark Trail single burner stove because it just fell apart. But I bought this one, CMT, basically the exact same thing. It worked fine earlier. We'll see how many uses I get out of it. All right, guys. Cooking in the SUV. All right, guys. So I just took a wet wipe shower, which is normal in van life. You know, a lot of you guys may think that's crazy. You know, not sanitary. But this is what it is. You get a bunch of these wet wipes and... That's a daily occurrence in a van, or an SUV, or anywhere else. So, I'm tired. I still haven't eaten any of my meal. Still hot as heck. But I'll eat it soon. Like I said, I'll wake up every 30 minutes. I'll eat a little bite, go back to sleep. So... Alright, I'm not sure what's going to happen tomorrow. Like I said, I have some work to do on the computer, some business I have to take care of. And I want to go hit the washes with my metal detector. I bought the damn thing, i got to use it, right? So, alright guys, see you in the morning. I did decide I'm just going to leave this as the video. And put it out for like Wednesday or something like that. Um, like I said, 
I have other things I want to do and blah, 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 but you know what? I only want to put a video out that's like 10 minutes. I want to put an hour video out. So, sorry about my bald head, but hey, you guys have a great morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Thank you for watching, subscribing, liking, sharing, commenting, and all that good stuff. So, hey, we'll see you next time on Jelly Bean Outdoors.